Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Monday afternoon freaking build stream here on the Grim Green YouTube, hanging out on another Monday afternoon. Mondays, you know, nobody likes them. I don't enjoy them. Who enjoys them? Who can honestly look at themselves in the face in a mirror, obviously, and say, I like Mondays. When a Monday comes, I just, that's when I'm the most excited. I said nobody ever. So we have some fun. Do a little bit of building, do a little bit of fiddling, do a little bit of watching me struggle trying to build this and install it into a Boro tank. Today, this is the Hakuzeta right here. Got this Hakuzeta in a in a little trade with uh, Miss Pamcakes, um, trading her a thing, and she traded me this Hakuzeta. I went on a, a big billet box kick not, not too long ago, and I, I mean, I'm still on the kick, but I went on a huge billet box kick not too long ago, and I made a video about it called Going Down the Billet Box Rabbit Hole. And I went on this just buying spree where I just wanted to buy everything I could for a Boro tank. And so I got a lot of them, and we're just going to be going through them. We're going to be doing down the billet box rabbit hole like series of build streams. But this is the Hakuzeta. It's a little single coil uh, banger for the Boro tank. I have only built this once. We did it on a patron stream, I think I built this and managed to get it in the Boro tank. It took me like an hour, so we're gonna try to <laughs> we're gonna try to speed up that process. As always, if anybody has any questions or anything like that as we go along, I'll do I'll certainly do my best to answer them. But this is the Hakuzeta, and I have some coil turd, mouth to lung coils. They should come out to a point oh seven in a single coil build, and I think one of these is going to be perfection inside this Haku Zeta. But let's take it apart. You got a little chimney here, big beefy O-rings. This comes with replacement O-rings, replacement screws, replacement everything you would need. It's kind of like a little two-part chimney right there. And then that's the deck. It's just a single coil guy. It uses a tiny, tiny little Phillips head. A lot of this, I don't know who said this before the chat, but there's going to be a lot of full Russian hacker mode. My, I'm, not, I'm not going to be able to wear my glasses. But if you unscrew this, you can see that that little ledge, that little clamp, that little trap door just opens right up all the way to the bottom, both sides. Does the same thing. Does the same thing on this side. Who would have thought? So it's a nice little little easy deck to just uh, to just drop your coils in. The little clamps come down. It's just a little single coil, just a little single coil. I would recommend, I was looking at like coils and what sizes I could fit in here. In fact, let's do a little bit of that. I had a few different coils. Where did this one come from? I wanted to see like, oh, I might be able to fit this in here too. Let's see, this is a two millimeter. Maybe we'll go with this Turk coil, maybe. Hang on. He strung them together with wire and I need to clip the wire in order to get the leads apart. But this is a two millimeter wire. Well, this is a two millimeter coil. If I add a wrap, you think that can fit in there? Huh? You think that can fit in there? Two millimeters? Two millimeters could fit. Two millimeters could fit fine. I just worry about the distance. I might have to remove a wrap instead of adding a wrap. But two millimeters should theoretically fit in there just fine. In fact, we might skip these coil turd mouth to lung coils altogether. Let me try to add this and see if I can get this coil in there because that would be awesome. I want a Hakuzeta with a Turk coil in it. Oh, no, it might not work. Distance might be off. Nope, it's going to work. It's gonna work, dude. It's gonna sit in there almost perfectly, just like that. This is gonna be great. You have some professional, what is this? Hey, Nick, I have some Professor Copperfield's Miracle miracle Legumes. Oh, good Lord. Hi, hi, welcome to reading. You have some Professor Copperfield's Miracle Legumes. You wanna trade for the Zeta? Oh, shit. What? Wait, what do they grow into? What? What do they grow into, Chad? I don't want him to grow into a dinosaur or something, and then that, you know, dinosaur ruins my house. So far, 10 out of 10 on the approach, New Wave Dave? Shit. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm feeling pretty confident about this. 
I think it's going to fit perfect. I think it's going to fit more than perfect. I think this is going to be fucking amazing. So I'm just going to give this a little twist like this. I'm going to try to screw this down. Because it needs, the clamp needs to come up and capture that lead right there. The clamp needs to come up to capture this lead right here. So I'm going to kind of hold it in place while I screw this down. Is it grabbing the lead? Is this lead way too big? It looks like it got it to me. Let's flip this to the other side. It looks like it's getting it. I mean, we can do some adjusty, some fiddly adjusty after us, but afterwards, but it really looks like these clamps are going to grab this coil. I shouldn't have opened them all the way. That's the mistake I made. I don't know. That looks like it grabbed it to me. Pretty well, too. Pretty well. Now, I'm going to crank these down because I want this to, you know, obviously be secure. Yep, that's cranked down. Uh, yep, that's cranked down. It looks like they're pretty cranked down pretty well. Dang. What are the odds you think this is going to work? I feel like these odds are pretty high that this is going to work. Push it down a little bit. Whoa, that looks pretty good. Damn, that looks pretty good. Let's cut these leads off. I'm gonna cut these as flush as you possibly can, as fl as flush as humanly possible. And again, you know, I just let you let your leads go flying wherever. You know, I feel like that's a perfect ten. I feel like that's a perfect ten. You can go ahead and judge me if you want. Ten, Joey. Ten. I know it's a perfect ten. It's a perfect freaking 10. 10 out of 10. It will work. I believe it will work as well. Snip those. Um, the Haku Zeta is great because the Haku Zeta, which I just like saying Haku Zeta. How do you not enjoy saying the term, the word Haku Zeta? 10 out of 10, 7.5 out of 10. Master Hyper, 10 out of 10. Damn right. Logan, Logan exhales in with a solid 42, which that's, you know, three 11s. No, that'd be 43. Huh. Who's bad at math? Nick's bad at math. I'm interested to build this and wick this today because I also have a liquid. It's a six milligram. It's pony on acid. So I want to see how well this does with 90% VG liquid. Pam says it's perfect, so... Look, if Pam says it's perfect, then it's perfect. I don't think I need to cut these. I'm just going to, oh, those leads, my little frayed ends, they might be hitting the edge here. I'm going to try to trim these down even further. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to do this on camera, but I'm going to try to trim these. There's just a little bit, you know, sticking out. And I don't want that to come in contact with the chimney. I tried to take my glasses off twice. Do you see that? I don't want these little end nubbin pieces to even think about touching that chimney. So I'm going to try to shave these off as best I can. I got to check the clearance, you know. Well, damn. Those might actually just end up hitting, and that sucks. Let's see. No, resample that. Nope, it's not supposed to be a 0.19. It's not supposed to be a 0.2. It's supposed to be a 0.7. Let's try again. Let's try again, DNA 250C. I'm worried that those little, I'm worried that the little ends are going to be touching you like that? That's Optimus Prime's chest right there. Because it's only reading it at a point two, but I know that's pre-fire. Let's just fire this, get the resistance up, and then see where it lands. 
Okay, kind of worried about this. We're in the danger zone. I'm just worried about those little lead clippings. Can you kind of see them right there? I captured this lead mostly flat, but there's a little bit of a nubbin kind of sticking out right there. That little nubbin. I know you can focus on it, camera. Nope. Well, it kind of goes in and out of focus there for a second, doesn't it? <laughs> there's just little lead nubbins like that sticking out, and I think it's going to get in the way of the chimney. Yeah, I might have to pull these out and pre-cut them. I'm anti-nubbin. But look, if they fire and it fires okay with the cap on, then I'm not going to worry about the nubbins. So let's just see what it does. Just going to pinch, pulse, strum, pulse, strum, pulse, strum. Going to work out all the hot spots in this bad boy. I don't know why I said that. I never used the term bad boy, and I'm not about to start now. It's still reading a point two, which is crazy, which is crazy. Still reading a freaking point two. Looks like there was some hot spots kind of happening underneath there. Yeah, there's one little hot spot in here that I cannot get out on the inside. Okay, there it goes. Nope, it's still there. Still. That little hot spot's going to be the bane of my existence. Yep. Yep. Great. Spectacular. Hot spot that would just not go away. You can see it happen. You can see it down there, man. Is it happening? Oh, okay. Well, it looks like I took care of that hot spot. Looks like I took care of the hot spot. Now we got a now we got them fired. They're glowing. Good job, Hakuzetta. Good job. I'm going to pop this as soon as it cools down. I'm going to pop this off of here so that I can reset this resistance. Let this cool down so I can get a proper resistance reading on here because it's supposed to be a little bit higher, I think. I'll, I'll, I'll be satisfied with a point two. I'm fine with a point two, but I thought it was going to read higher than that. And I just want to make sure. I also have to make sure that this will fire with the cap on because, like I said, those nubbins, I'm anti-nubbin. And I don't need nubbins getting in the way of my Hakuzeta vape billet box experience. I had one super chat there I saw from uh, Big Rig. What up, Big Rig? Uh, you're going to love the Zeta. Hashtag flavor banger. It is a flavor banger. Well, alls go to 11. Well, why not just make 10 the loudest and and have them go to 10 and have 10 be the loudest. Alls go to 11. Okay, now it's reading a point 0.3. Let's resample this. Perfect, point 0.3. Let's turn this wattage down. Yeah, it seems to be firing fine. Yeah, it's firing and glowing great. It's not getting in the way. There must be a little bit of a gap there. That's the only thing I can think that's saving me from those nubbins shorting out. Or maybe it's that it's anodized and they wouldn't short out if they were touching anyway. That could very well be it. I did. I added a wrap. I added a wrap. I added a wrap, Road Ragin'. But we're going to use some uh, cotton bacon in here. That's really the only cotton I use. They used to pay me to say that, but they don't have to anymore because I love it. What is this, two millimeters? All right, let's see how much cotton we're gonna need to use. Plus it's a 90 VG juice, which makes me wonder if I need to, it's anodized, is that what's keeping it from shorting out, Matthew? Yeah, this is a no nubbin zone, Tom. I don't know where you think you're hanging out, but this is the no nubbin zone. <laughs> this is the no nubbin zone. Let's see if we can get this Zeta wicked. 
I'm wondering if I need to thin out my wicks, you know, brush them out, pull a little bit of a mic vapes, like mic vapes it and brush my wicks out because this is a 90 VGE liquid. So I'm just interested to see. I know, don't press that fire button. Not right now. Oh, fuck me running. I knew that that was going to happen. Son of a bitch. Yep, look at that. That lead, um, the whole coil just popped out. But it's got a wick on it. Whole coil just po <laughs> Whole coil just popped out. Yep. Guess they weren't hashtag cranked down enough. I'm going to have to try one of those coil turds, aren't I? The mouth to lung aliens. I cannot believe that just just popped out. What a fucking bummer. Man, that's a bummer. Man, that's a bummer. Son of a bitch. Well, this build stream is running long. We ran into problems. I get the vibe that this wire is just too wide. Is this wire just too wide for this Hakuzeta to hold it? The nub strikes again. I know. Damn it, this is frustrating. It's got to be even more frustrating for you guys because you're probably like, I would have had that built by now. I would have, <laughs> this would have, I would have already been vaping this Hakuzeta. I think it's just that the wire's too big and that those little Zeta clamps, they can't, uh, they can't grip it properly, you know? I think the wire is just too wide. Even after adding, I mean, shit, now I lost my damn tool. I put it away so confidently, like, oh, I don't need this anymore. I don't even know where it ended up. Here it is. All right, let's try it again. Round two, who cares? Build stream's gonna run long, it's just gonna run long. That's just the way it is. It's not even the right tool. Had to get all my Zeta spare parts. You can also uh, change out the center airflow in here. I have the little four hole guy in there, but it comes with like two single hole guys. It comes with uh, you know two single hole guys, a two hole guy, a four hole guy. So let's open these back up just a little bit. It's frustrating watching someone else build. I would just be yelling at my computer screen right now. Ah, <sighs> damn it. Clamp rejection, Thomas. Clamp rejection. But these little coil turd mouth to lung banger, this should fit in here much, much better. I'm gonna have to uh, hide this from you though with my finger while I screw this up. Screw it up. Okay, see that lead grabbed it. That lead grabbed it okay. Or that clamp rather grabbed it okay. Man, I was really looking forward to those turd coils or those Turk coils, man. And I thought I really, you know, all right, so that's round two. That's what we got right there. <laughs> round two. Which means it's just going to involve more clipping, more glowing, more pulsing. Dang, I might have stripped this out. More clipping. Yeah. Stupid. These, sh these should be easier to get the nubbins off. This should be easier to make this a nubbin-free zone. Fuck nubbins. I don't want nubbins hanging out on my coils. Let's see if I can get these nubbins off. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, nubbin land. You got nothing. You got nothing. All right. Well, let's see what the resistance is we're sitting at. Okay. Now you have to judge this one. It looks like it's going to pop out to me still. Is the Hakuzeta just really meant for round wire? Really looks like it's going to pop out still. And these coil turd coils are weak. I mean, they're not weak. They're just, they're fragile. So I have a feeling if I try to get some, any decent amount of wick in here, 
uh, it's just going to do the same thing. Pulse and strum, then you're good to go. These came out at a 0.8. Uh, looks like a 0.71. Uh, looks like four. So 13 watts, 0.71. That's a pretty quick little ramp up for a 0.71 single coil at only 13 watts. Well, look, this one isn't nearly as good. This is like a three, four, four at best, maybe five, five out of 10. You run three millimeter fuse Clapton's in yours, Don? Dang. Well, that, I mean, I'm impressed by that. I don't, it, is it like fused Clapton's, like multi core fused Clapton's in there, Don? Multi-core fuse Clapton's. It could have been that I just didn't tighten down the clamps enough, but I used the included Hakuzeta sized, you know, Allen key. And I cranked them down and it was giving me a good resistance and everything. So now I have to pinch off even less cotton so that I don't royally F up these coils as well. Not all about royally effing this up. Although there's a good chance that that could happen. Let's peel some more cotton off. Not taking any chances, man. Taking no chances right now. I want to vape this with some pony on acid so bad. Let's see what can be done. Yeah, it might be too much cotton, Nick. Nope, you're good. All right, get it through. Just get it through. Just roll it through. One step at a time. Roll. Roll. Roll it through. Roll it through. Okay, I think that's enough cotton. Woo! That was touch and go there for a second. That was touch and go for a second. I don't think I'm going to thin these out. I don't think. I think I'm just going to leave them as they are. I think I'm just going to install this like that. And I'm just going to trim these as they came out. I'm going to unscrew it from this to make that life easier, though. I'm going to trim these flush, flush with the side, right? I feel like that's the way to go. Too flush? Would you would you say that's too flush to the side, Pam? Since you're the resident professional here, let me trim the other one down. Too flush? I think that looks great. Personally, I'm 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 satisfied with that. Is that too flush, Pam? PSS, remember that the Screws on the side are juice flow up and down, more or less liquid to feed in. Oh, Pam, I had no idea. That's actually really, really interesting. I should have adjusted those. I'm just going to leave it as it is for right now. I'm just going to leave it as it is for right now. I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be good, but that's really good to know, Pam, about the juice flow. I had no idea. So everybody listen to Pam. I don't know why you're listening to me. Pam knows more about the Zeta than I do. That Cali Burn G life though. So now the second hardest part is getting this into the Boro tank. That's the hardest part on earth. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chimney. This is hard to do. I'm going to take the chimney. I'm going to try to get it in the tank. But I'm going to use, you know, the little tool here so that I don't fuck anything up. I'm going to get this attached to that, right? Chimney attached to the tool. And hopefully I can push this up all the way. Yes, success. Chimney goes in. Push it up all the way. Yo, Nick. 
who just said yo to me. Yo, Nick Vapes, welcome. Thanks for coming to hang out. You guys, I did a really great podcast with Mike Vapes. You should check it out. It's on grimgreen.com. It's on Spotify. It's on iTunes. He, he took time out of his day to come to talk with me for a while. Uh, and we had a really great time. Really great time. And I think it turned out really well. So then I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to capture this. Yes. Yes, suck a fish. Oh, I didn't juice it. Damn it. Why didn't I wet this? Why didn't I pre-wet this? I'm going to have to try to drip through the top like a sucker. And I think that's as far down as the Zeta goes. I tried like crazy to push it down even further and try to get like that O-ring to click in there and it just wouldn't click. So I think that's where we're leaving the Haku Zeta right now. It's in there as in there as it's going to get. Now I'm going to have to put some drips of juice down the center. I wish I had... Ah. Why didn't I think ahead? Why didn't I wet my wicks first? Damn it, I must be slipping in my old age. This is ridiculous. What are you new here? <laughs> it's okay, we can try this. Get into the light here. Yes, 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 yes. All right. I, pre I, I wet it down. Where did I put the uh, burrow tank glass? All right, slide you on here. Let's fill this up. This is going to be going into Golden Boy today. Golden Boy is the home of the Hakuzeta, at least for right now. Bleh. I'm just going to fill this Hakuzeta with this borrow tank up with liquid. Maybe we'll finally get to vape this thing. Maybe. Also, I'm just really looking forward to trying Pony on Acid again. Check Atomizer. Don't even joke about that, Steven. Steven, don't even joke about that check Atomizer. That would ruin my day. I would, in a huff, I would just end the build stream and be like, Fuck you, Hakuzeta. <laughs> Jerk. Don't even joke about that, bro. It's going in. Juice matches the mod. It's that beautiful golden color. And again, I still use a quarter to screw this down. I don't know if that's the preferred billet box way of people doing it, but I still use a quarter. Okay, now is the time of judgment. Right, Stephen? Oh, no, it's reading it. Okay. That's a win for me. That's It's reading it. It's reading the resistance correctly. <laughs> yes. All right, where's my dinky little drip tip? Dinky little drip tip. I think this is actually the Grim Kit drip tip. Not the Grim Kit drip tip, the Type 2 drip tip. But we're using it right there. Dinky little drip tip. Yes. And now I have to put panels back on. This this particular billet box and these panels came from uh, Disco Potato, freaking Disco Potato. She sold them to me and I bought them. And, and it's my favorite. Uh, Kyler, the Caliburn G rules. You well did it again. Kyler, you don't even know how right you are. The Caliburn G is spectacular. Spe freaking spectacular, Kyler. It's one of the, it's I mean it's one of the best mouth to lungs freaking ever. Freaking ever. Long you were using uh Pony on Acid today, which they renamed to Strawberry Paradise or something like that. I don't know the new names. We'll check the new names at some point. I don't know the new name. It's a uh, strawberry. It's like strawberry. To me, it tastes like strawberry glaze that's on like the top of a pie. Like a strawberry pie. The reason I like this these doors is because you can adjust your wattage up and down from the outside. And I think that's spectacular. 
So let's start at a modest 20 watts. Okay, we don't no need to go crazy here. Oh yeah, that's giving it to me. All right, there you go. We built it eventually. We wicked it eventually. It's vaping eventually. It's gonna vape right now. <clears throat> What's up everybody? Yeah, I look like hell today. Just like, look at this, hey, what is this? What are these wings? What is, what is this? What's that? That is dumb. That's such a fucking old guy look that I hate. It's built, you guys. We built it and wicked it. Uh, that one little toot was pretty spectacular. Pretty spectacular. You just ordered three Vaporesso Zyros. Yeah, the Caliburn cooler killers. Yeah, that's, see, that's the problem with uh, YouTube is everybody says that this is a killer of that and this is a killer of that. And then you all says, actually, we're a killer of it. This is the best pod that we've ever done. It's so good. It's too good. The Caliburn G is too good. But that's not what it's about. We're about this Haku Zeta life right now. Six milligram pony on acid on the inside. How are we doing for time? Damn it, we did it. I can't believe, I can't believe it's, we're only 35 minutes into the stream right now. 30 minutes technically right now because of five minutes of hold screen. Yeah, that's spectacular. Kevin Yum, that's very gracious of you. Give me an extra life. I appreciate that, Kevin Yum. Now, the airflow on the Zeta is a little bit turbulent to me. It feels turbulent. It sounds turbulent. Can you hear it? I'm going to put the airflow. Can you hear the turbulence of it? I don't know again if this is like a drawing issue, like I'm drawing too difficult, too difficult, too heavy, too hard on it. But this is vaping really great. I need to back off my draw on billet boxes. That's that's what I've learned in the last two weeks is I need to back off my draw on a billet box. But it's vaping great. I see bubbles happening. I see no leaking happening, which that makes me happy. It just feels turbulent to me, Pam. I don't know how to fix the turbulence. But the flavor, it is worth it. This is, this is definitely a flavor banger. Definitely a flavor banger. Tastes like pony on acid should. It's great because I can only run this at 20 watts and it gives me a really nice like flavorful, like borderline cloudy, not like cloud chasey. I'm not dripping in an RDA right now, but it's still a little bit of a cloudy experience. This is great. So final thoughts, Haku Zeta. Overall build stream score, New Wave Dave, an 11 out of 11, 11. 11 out of 11. It's like space without the stars. I've got a super chat here from Southern Comfort. I just turned it on so I didn't see the build, but I'm almost sure there was a few hot spots in that coil. <laughs> so not, a, no, Southern Comfort, not in this coil, but if you go back and watch the replay, which look, you, you don't have to, I'll tell you what happened. I found an MTurk coil that was two millimeters that I tried to install in here, but it, I think it had too many cores because when I went to wick it, I just, the coil came completely out, just boom, boom, popped off the little, off the little clamps and just pulled completely out. So I had to go back with a coil turd mouth to lung alien that he makes and install that in here. And now that one stuck and went great. It went smoothly. I'm really happy with this, really happy with this billet box right now. Yeah, you just back up, slow your roll. Just drop your draw down. I think that's the way to go. Yeah, see that tobacco rules. Pony on acid. It's been a minute since I've had some pony on acid. And I'm happy that it's in Golden Boy with the Haku Zeta.
Shit, yeah. Well, there you go, guys. We did it, damn it. The Hakuzeta reigns supreme inside Golden Boy. Like I said, this was a trade with uh, Pancakes. I'm always, I'm kind of always on the lookout for billet box stuff. I'm always on the billet box lookout and especially like Boro Tank inserts. Love them. Just want to try them all. Um, no, I don't have any chimney insert. It's the no insert. Yeah, it's the b the biggest chimney possible, Sifu. Biggest chimney possible. Biggest chimney possible, most airflow possible. Unless I took those like four airflow holes out of there, uh, I don't know what that would do to it. I don't know exactly what that would do to the airflow. There's no gurgling. There's no gurgle. That's just the turbulent airflow. It's just turbulent. But it's vaping like a champ and it tastes freaking delicious. You want all my mech mods, Jose? I can't give you all my mech mods. I could, I could maybe give you one mech mod. But we'll have to, we, I mean, even that would be a, a discussion. <laughs> Wired talk, that's all good. We're winding down here. It's 40 minutes into the hour. And th this, even regardless of that M-Turk coil, just straight up popping out of there, which is something I've never seen before. Otherwise, this went great. This went really smoothly. Uh, shoddy, shoddy craftsmanship, like all of your builds. Yeah, shod was it shoddy craftsmanship? I don't know if it was shoddy craftsmanship. I in, I installed it pretty well. I just think that the clamps on the Hakuzeta are limited as to what they can actually contain. I don't think you could put something really wide like a framed staple in here or a framed anything. Multi cores, maybe maybe like two cores. If you're getting above two three cores, it's not going to happen on this Hakuzeta. It's just gonna it's just gonna spit your coil on out of there. Spit it on out. But anyway, you guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. If you're here now, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, let me show you the nicotine warning just in case you need to see it. Uh, some of the products in this video, they did contain nicotine, but I chose to use nicotine. You can use a billet box without nicotine. You can use a Hakuzeta without nicotine. But, you know, if you're a smoker, definitely get on that nicotine train. There's worse things for you out there. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, you guys. I appreciate you coming to hang out with me, even if it's just for a half hour, 40 minutes. Smacks Pony on Acid. Yeah, that's Pony on Acid from Smacks. They recently changed the name, and I don't know what they changed it to. Should we Google it real quick? Let's, let's Google it real quick. Yeah, it's called uh, Forever Berries. Nope, it's called Berry Fantasy, formerly... Pony on Acid. Formerly Pony on Acid. It is now called Berry Fantasy. B-E-R-R-Y. Berry Fantasy. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, you guys. I could just sit here and keep rambling and talking all day long. But there you go. Baker Ma'am, Cameron in the chat for the win. It's Berry Fantasy. But uh, yeah. I appreciate you guys coming out. Monday build stream. Going to be doing some billet box stuff in the coming weeks, and I'm really excited about that. Uh, I'm going to be back here for Tuesday Bro Tuesday tomorrow. We're just going to have a whole mess of science. That's what we're doing. We're just going over all of the science on vaping. What does it actually say? There's so much conflicting misinformation out there. What does like epidemiological science say about vaping? This isn't well, youths use more flavored products than adults do. We're not going to delve into that. We're going to delve into what does vaping do to your body when you vape? What is going on? That's what we're going to do tomorrow. In fact, we're going to have a big announcement coming up soon for Tuesday Bro Tuesday. Huge announcement. Life-changing announcement. Earth-shattering announcement for Tuesday Bro Tuesday. Uh, and I can't wait to make this announcement because it's going to be spectacular. Otherwise, you know, we got the vlog on Thursday and we can all hang out again and I'll see you guys then. But thank you so much for joining me. I'll have some post stream thoughts on the Hakuzeta down below in the description of this video. But until, until next time, until next time, just uh, keep being excellent to each other, you guys. And, uh, and peace. Peace.